dice, Señor, esta mesa, y enséñanos a compartir nuestra alegría, aleluya, y nuestro pan también. Este es nuestro hijo Rafael. Él asiste a la escuela Miresco San Antonio. Ella es Yulisa, es una estudiante de la escuela elemental San Antonio. Este es nuestro otro hijo César. Él está en cuarto grado en la escuela San Antonio. Él es Jason, él está en kinder en San Antonio School. Él es nuestro bebé Brian. Pronto asistirá al programa preescolar San Antonio. Todos mis hijos asisten a una escuela católica. Estamos bendecidos. Es un regalo de Dios. Just a few miles from downtown Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and the shores of Lake Michigan are the streets and shops of Milwaukee's near south side. The population is largely Hispanic. Unemployment is high. So is the crime rate. And many of the families are economically disadvantaged. Yet they remain proud of their heritage and equally proud and supportive of the Catholic faith. They live in the shadows of several grand and historic churches, including the magnificent Basilica of St. Josephat, the third oldest basilica in the United States. St. Stanislaus, founded in 1866. And St. Anthony's, founded in 1872. And it is this St. Anthony Parish's school which is now being noticed and applauded and emulated coast to coast. Because here, unlike sadly too many other Catholic schools in the country, they are not closing buildings, they are acquiring them. Here, parents aren't pulling their children out, they can't wait to get in. And here, enrollment is not decreasing, it has increased every year for the last decade, up to the current nearly 2,000 students. It's here, St. Anthony in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, a city with a population not even in the top 25 in the country that now has the nation's largest K-3-12 to Catholic school. So we're going to do a little pre-reading exercise. I take a look at three, three things. First of all, quality. You cannot get away from the fact that individuals uh, want their children to achieve, and they achieve because there's a, a level of, uh, of success, a quality in the classroom, devoted teachers. Uh, the second thing is the environment. You know, uh, it, when, when, when you come to St. Anthony's and you get a sense of it, you get, you get a sense immediately that the environment is such that the message is respect yourself and respect others. And then the third is vision, and that has a lot to do with, um, w with our faith, that we have this um, uh, the sense that we are called to something far greater than ourselves. And when we instill that um, in ourselves, when it's instilled in the very educational values that are put forth, when it's instilled in um, the quality of the education in the environment that's around, this vision is constantly before the, the student that says, you are a worthy, dignified individual who's called to something greater, and we're gonna help you to try to achieve that. So you, you put those factors together and you can't have anything but a successful school. The reason for our success, many things. The Holy Spirit, the culture, um, the tradition. Catholic education is the best in the world. Uh, a lot of our immigrant families who come from Mexico realize that in Mexico, um, Catholic education is only for the rich because that's the best education. So they come here, they see us, they see what we're providing in the community, and they flock here. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, Lisa. We are going to start our 
day with a Bible story. The preschool is the latest addition to this St. Anthony community. So now children as young as three years old are participating in this Catholic school family. You teach the students morals and how to be a friend and how to be a good person. They do the sign of the cross before every meal and we talk about prayer and how to be thankful for their mom, their dad, and the food that they're given. This is their first school experience and we really want them to go away with a love for learning and know that learning can be fun. All the social things, just getting kids to get along with each other and learn how to solve problems by um, using faith in it. Like um, every month we have a Bible verse as one of our concepts and ours is be kind to each other so when you're reminding the children you need to ask before you take that, I can just remind them of, remember the Bible says be kind to each other. So we use very simple Bible verses. We introduce Bible stories, um, you know, through our story time and our read-alouds, um, you know, as, as, and presented as stories with morals um, that they can learn from. Uh, we also talk about uh, the different prayers that we can do. Uh, they have a little prayer that they do before they eat uh, their breakfast and lunch and snack. Our hands we fold, our heads we bow, for this food and drink we thank God now. Amen. St. Anthony Elementary School occupies two buildings because enrollment at this level is near a thousand students. And it's here that their knowledge of and love for the Catholic faith begins to grow. Good morning, St. Anthony. Please stand. Let us pray. Come, Holy Spirit. Fill the hearts of your faithful and the kingdom in them the fire of your love. And you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O oh God, by the light of the Holy Spirit, did instruct the hearts of the faithful. Grant that by the same Holy Spirit. We need to teach our kids the basics of Catholic education and faith. Um, especially at this building with the K-4 to second graders. We need to teach them that there are rules and we need to keep, we need to walk in silently, we need to sit correctly, we need to make sure that we're opening our minds and hearts to God. Um, sometimes the message isn't always, they don't always understand what the message is for the church, but they understand that God is with them in church and then when we leave church, God is still with us in the school. I see this as a mission to help our students become not only academically bound for college, but as part of a greater movement of helping our, our students go to, go to heaven. So when I think about um, what is my role in that, what is my vocation, it's being a leader, being a role model to our students and educating parents and educating the community members and educating our students so that we are helping them see essentially um, how important our faith is and how important it is to celebrate our faith and learn more about our faith and grow deeper in our faith. To see uh, the school as a model, you know, for, you know, for the country, I think it's beautiful and I, I think it can be done uh, from, you know, a, as a Catholic school with a, um, excellence in education, the way we teach, you know, religion, the way the, the students are learning and they're prepared to, you know, to go to heaven and to go to college because that's our goal. We, we tell, tell the kids right from the beginning in K-4, we said, you are getting ready to go to college. I think the main thing is that God loves them. God loves them always and that he has asked us to know him, to love him, and to serve him. I feel our world is so topsy-turvy, and I think they need a foundation, something that they can believe in, something that they, they know won't change, because everything keeps changing in the world. And, you know, I tell them, Jesus will always be there for you. He doesn't go away.
St. Anthony Middle School's enrollment is over 400. Mass is celebrated once a week, and the Sacrament of Penance is available twice weekly. And it is at this level where these students are introduced to a program called ELL, which is vital to their future success. ELL stands for English Language Learner. Uh, practically what I do is I help students whose first language is Spanish and taking them on a journey of learning English as their second language. Learning English um, is so important because their material will continue to get harder and the more that they can focus on their English skills, the more that they will be able to be successful um, in the realm of high school and college. Um, we want all of our students to go to college and then also in finding a job, um, preparing them for the long run. So English, living here in America, um, English is necessary. And so my hope and dream is that they, they learn it and they learn it well in order to succeed in life. It is also at this middle school level where the students are expected to act as adults. Good behavior is prioritized. There are no excuses. It's important to provide our, our students with structure and discipline because it, it's, it's giving them the means to be successful. And what I mean by that is it's laid out. There's no secrets. There's no uh, uncertainties throughout the day. We provide, a, some would say, a strict structure, but I would argue that it's, it's a structure that is needed for our students to be successful. And just as we teach math and reading and science and all of our subjects, we also have a responsibility to teach uh, uh, behavior and, and personal responsibilities. You ask any of our kids, the two goals are college and heaven, right? K through 12. We're preparing our kids to get to college, to get to heaven. And in order to do that, you have to have systems in place. Um, you have to ingrain in your students the characteristics and qualities that you want them to reflect. St. Anthony High School, enrollment around 500, moved into a new facility just a few years ago. It's here where the students are not only earning their diploma, which in itself is a victory and achievement, but many of them are also preparing for and planning on college. And not too long ago, that was a near impossible dream. Now, it's very much a reality. My family, they haven't really had the opportunity to finish high school or finish college. So I would be the first person going and graduating college. And I do, I do feel proud of myself because it's like my family couldn't do it because I didn't have the opportunity, but I do. A lot of that is thanks to St. Anthony's. And once I make something of myself, which I plan to do, I want to help my family out with that. <laughs> When my parents told me that I was going to go into a Catholic school, I'm like, really? Like, I don't want to. But just being here and just growing as a person and having all of the experiences that I've had, I'm like, I wouldn't have it any other way. You talk about a mission. I, as a theology teacher, I feel like part of my mission is, yes, to prepare them for the real world, but also to prepare them beyond that, to prepare them for heaven. And to have that, that's kind of like our school motto, to have that as our primary mission, to prepare them for the world, but pre to prepare them for heaven, to make sure they have all the tools they need to get there. Todo niño, todo joven tiene dentro de sí. All kids, all young people have God within them in the way they act. My job here is simply to encourage them and help them discover God in their own lives. And at the same time, they encourage me and strengthen me to walk the consecrated way of life. There are other reasons too for St. Anthony's success in addition to what we've already seen and heard, which is the devoted teachers and staff and the leadership and vision of the administration, the unwavering support from parents and the teaching of not only our Catholic faith, but also discipline and respect and behavior skills. St. Anthony is receiving straight A's also because of three C's, community, choice, 
Clinic. The Padre Pio Clinic, newly renovated and expanded, provides health care services for the students and even their family members, regardless of their ability to pay. At the clinic, we can do many things. We can do sports physicals, annual physicals, we can give vaccines, um, we can do sick visits, more like urgent care visits. We have dentists come in who can take care of the children's teeth on site. We can do vision screening, hearing screening, and the list goes on. The mission of St. Anthony's is to care for the whole child. We care for their intellect and their learning abilities, but we also care for their, their mind and their spirit and their physical well-being. The fact that we can care for their physical um, needs as well as their spiritual needs and if there's any mental issues we can um, address those as well so it really is consistent with the mission of the school. The second C, Choice. St. Anthony School participates in the Milwaukee Parental Choice Program and an overwhelming percentage of the students are here because of that. It's a really kind of a dream come true. It's something that you would have never imagined you were gonna be able to provide to your kids. So I think it's, it's a huge impact for, for the families and particularly the kids that have an opportunity to attend St. Anthony School. Oh yes, for sure without choice, St. Anthony couldn't be here in our community. Because you know, our family, they are they are coming from a very, very low income, and that's the only way that they can be in the private school, in the Catholic school with faith. Benefits are seen academically, the benefits are seen uh, spiritually. St. Anthony, I think, also is, is proving to be, will, will, will prove to be a model for other Catholic schools in the sense that it's, it's really revitalizing the idea of the parish school as a community center. And the third C is community. The people who live and work in this neighborhood, even those who are not Catholic, support and work with St. Anthony Parish and School because they see what a difference it makes. This community right here is kind of rough. I mean, you have uh, crime, you have uh, unemployment, uh, all kinds of serious things. And, and St. Anthony's is a little gem that's right here in the community that is kind of spreading around the goodwill of. Uh, for the community and trying to improve uh, all kinds of things, not only education but other issues as well. When you have a school like this that's special in the way that they work with kids and demonstrate what's possible with kids and with families, there's no doubt that it impacts the community, both in terms of what the kids take home and share with their parents, but then also the family engagement here is outstanding. And so as you have more and more families that are engaged in schools like this and schools of faith like this, uh, the results are tremendous for the community and the impact that that has. When we look at all these factors that affect the community, I see St. Anthony as providing a beacon of hope to the students and to the families. St. Anthony's is a great story of hope. It's people coming together for the sake of Catholic education and really joining forces to provide a formation for 2,000 young people in our city. It shows that Catholic education still works today and many people perhaps have given up on Catholic schools as viable and St. Anthony shows it can be done if people are really dedicated to it. St. Anthony shows us that in the 21st century in America, Catholic education is far from dead. It's discovering new life and new opportunity to reach um, broad groups of people that perhaps would fall through the cracks in any other system. This area of the south side of Milwaukee has St. Anthony as a light in its darkness. This school, which is not perfect, but it certainly is striving to be that, is, is the kind of place that parents can turn to for uh, feelings of security, of uh, confidence, and really of um, a certain sense of partnership with the work they're trying to do in their homes. 
faith is a relationship with Christ. And so it's something that's alive, it's something that's active and moving, and, and it can never be stagnant. And seeing these beautiful kids who've been made in the image and likeness of God, who are so thirsty for Christ and responsive to grace, that, of course, it builds up one's faith. That's, that's it. And, and if we have a healthy faith life, I think we're never really satisfied with it, right? We're always being fed. We need to be fed, and I certainly do. And if I'm not being fed, then I don't know what I can give. I still see in St. Anthony's um, education is how much they care about the students. Um, we may not have the upper hand sometimes being first generation um, Americans. Um, sometimes our parents can't teach us what we need to know ahead of time, you know, um, you know, set up that fertile soil for what goes on in education. But I think what matters the most is that sometimes our, our teachers are both parent and educator, you know, and it matters. It makes a big difference for this demographic group of students. I know it made a difference for me. People are brought together for a reason, and I feel that this is at the correct place at the correct time that this is happening with the correct population of students and the correct staff. And things, when things come easy, I believe that it's the intention of, and I, and it, I don't mean this disrespectfully, but it's the intention is of the man upstairs that he needs something done. So when it comes easy, it's in his mission that needs to be done for the students that we have and for their families, because it's really important that, um, that we model for everyone um, what the Catholic faith and what a Catholic education means. When I talk to the students that we have at St. Anthony, and I hear a lot of the experiences they have to share, like all the community service they, they, they do, um, and all the great things they're, they're doing for the community to make it better. We are very proud to be the largest K-12 Catholic school in the country. The good thing about it is that we can leverage that. We can be an example. We can be that beacon of hope to other Catholic schools across the country, especially those in the urban setting that keep closing showing that there's ways that you can make this work. Catholic schools are an integral part of our American history. And in the days of a true sense of, of union with, with the parish, the church, as uh, the center, the source, and the summit of their faith, you know, from the, from the colonial times, from the, the days when people came over from Europe, where the church was literally at the center of the community, I think when a school like this has that emphasis and recognizes that everything flows from Christ's and His full presence in the church, um, fully present in the sacraments, extending that to the students through priests, uh, absolutely, I think that's, uh, that, that in particular is uh, an example that every Catholic school ought to emulate. And my prayer and profound hope is that um, this generation will be able to restore some of that Catholicity that's been lost. I think in previous years you sent your child to a Catholic education because there were perceived uh, better academics or a perceived uh, safe environment as opposed to a public institution. Um, now with the increased rigor and safety at public schools, people are waning from Catholic education. But I think that our model shows that we can not only succeed academically and safely, but we can also espouse the values of the Catholic Church that make a difference in the world today. Not just a difference in their lives, but a difference in them becoming future leaders, uh, future examples to the church and to the world of how to be a serviceable member of a local and global community. St. Anthony's is a beacon of hope. There's a lot of stories in education about things that are failing or aren't working right. And I think that uh, this school is, is one in which um, we can look at what is working, you know, what, what's happening, uh, and, and look at the positive change in the lives of the students and the families that we're serving. We're always looking for fertile ground, looking for environments in which men are being raised in the faith and raised in the truth. And I think that's really happening here at St. Anthony's School. Uh, the students are so involved in the sacramental life of the church, works of charity, and those seeds are going to produce future vocations. A vocation just doesn't surface out of the thin air. It's raised within the home, it's raised within families, and particularly school communities. So I'm already dialoguing with a lot of men from the high school who are open to college seminary and so it would not surprise me um, at all to see a significant amount of vocations come out of this school. 
when an individual comes uh, into this type of environment, there is, there is hope, hope that this individual will be able to achieve what God has, has called them to achieve. Hope in the sense that they are being supported by a community that cares for them. You know, the, the school, the church, you know, their, their, their parents, a community that cares for them. And then uh, literally it, the, the, the hope for the, the future. We're gonna build upon these individuals and you get a sense that these individuals who are here, they're the future. And the future, when you come to St. Anthony, looks very bright. I believe that God sees the need. However, He gives us free will and there has to be the want. He doesn't force anything on us. And there was the need and the want in my family, in my son. And through St. Anthony's and its staff, it came to happen. All of these people, all of these families that St. Anthony's is serving, obviously are there. Who was serving them before? So I see this as grand. It's God-centered.